Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss what how to use DB Schema Editor for Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So add here, let's open DB Schema. Now add here, this is uh, SSMS. Add here, you can see. Add here, database. Add on database. Add here, this is all tables inside. Add on database. Now here after the next is. So DB schema it's open now click on close now here after we need to use add here connect to database and here this is for 15 days try now here we can select different RDMS so going to select add here Microsoft SQL Server click there so add here or oh, one of six native driver here set key seven now here after you should use remote computer so add here give host name or IP address so add here for best practice let's disconnect and connect and here after let's copy this one server name and paste at this place and here one port one four three three it's fine and here it's going to connect with SA user you can select other and you keep the password now here you can uh, select the database so add here it's connecting so going to select add here or oh, add a database it's a selected now here the way. this part is the option now here after let's click on connect so here this is DBO table, it's a selector. Now if you go up, here you can see or oh, inside HR Adam, here you can use BR, HR, Escort, SH and here if you want so this all our system defined or oh, schema so not going to select now here after let's click on OK. So add here indexing constraint foreign additional and here run count so all the operation it's going on now generate virtual foreign key so if you want then here you can click on generate so it will generate at here let's go and chance now click on ok so add here this is ER diagram and here virtual foreign key relationship Generated. So, font key is mainly used for to link between one or more tables. So, at your employee that is linked with at your department ID, and here employee ID is the primary key, and here department ID is the font key. After that, it's connected with department. Now, here you can see at your SQL Server. So there is a BI schema. So add here, here inside HR you can find this seven tables, and you can use these tables here. And here after three sequence to a store procedure for trigger. And inside Escort, add here you can find four tables, and here this all tables there no use no is the store procedure nothing inside there and here ss total 15 tables two views here so at one place you can find at your multiple schema at one place if you want then here you can create the tables by clicking right here create tables if you click on create table keep the table in and here by clicking add you can add the columns and here make their primary key identity columns all these things block key very easily and here after if you want let's select tables and here you can do the edit change color so table by form key so this all feature you can see at here new form or report random data generator add columns make that include add font key dependency here you can create the column so clone and here you can select bi or other 
no here if you go table here one clone or table it's added so this is the very simplest process at him by creating clone by using db schema editor so you should also try so this is for 15 days after that you so you should extend so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you